Howdy everyone, it's Night Haro here. Boy, that word it's hard to say with his accent. Today what I got for you is my Warden of Freedom build. That's right, for America's birthday, we've got a new build for ESO. So we're just gonna jump right into it, like a pig in slop. First thing up here, now I normally start on the left side, read left to right, just like the Lord intended, but we're actually gonna skip ahead a little bit here because I wanna talk about our ultimate. We don't want no communist bear on our Warden of Freedom build, so we're just gonna go a bald eagle, double bald eagle, Eagle on both bars. That's the way to go. You've got a flex option on the back if you've got a, a interesting situation. Maybe you need to uh, invade a small country, but we'll get there in a second. All right, so first up here, America's birthday. We got some fireworks. Now, this can really be any kind of firework you like. You can do Roman candles. You can do bottle rockets. I'm personally partial to the bottle rockets, uh, but whatever you'd like, any kind of firework is going to be a first thing on our bar here, and we're going to use that early and often. And in fact, sometimes we shoot off fireworks for no reason. It could be in the middle of the day, wrong month, it doesn't even matter. Fireworks are uh, all good with us. After that, we have the Knife of Rambo. That's right. And this is not, uh, I am not talking about the documentary by Sylvester Stallone. I'm talking about the actual historical person, Rambo. We actually have his knife here. It's actually still got some blood stains on it. So a uh, pretty nice thing here. You can use this to chop down wood so you can use it for your harvesting and what have you. Uh, but definitely keep that on your bar. I never take it off personally. After that, we have the, sta the staple of the Warden of Freedom build, which is going to be the assault rifle. Now here we've got a laser sight, front mounted grip, and an extended clip for to hold a few extra rounds. So, uh, you know, this is just a staple. Um, it's going to be your main spamble, so you just want to leave it here. Uh, after that, we've got the Desert Eagle. That's right. Now, the Desert Eagle is really just for that close combat when you really want some nice stopping power there. Now, uh, an, if you're in an AOE situation, uh, particularly, you know, that medium range, you don't want to be too close now, uh, then what we're going to go with is a, is a good old-fashioned grenade. That's right, yeah. You know, a lot of people are like, hey, how'd you get a hold of a grenade, Night Haru? I mean, aren't those illegal? Uh, uh, let's just not talk about it, okay? <laughs> All right, now let's go ahead and, uh, of course, we got the eagle uh, for our ultimate on front bar. Let's go ahead and move on to the back bar here. So first up here is going to be the saw. That's right, the M249 squad automatic weapon. That's right. Uh, so this is really good if you need to, you know, mow down any trees, if you got a whole bunch of ads coming at you or what have you, the saw is going to be the way to go. Now that bugger is heavy if you got to hoff it for a long way, so it is going to reduce your speed, so keep that in mind. Uh, after that, Oh man, we got one of my favorites here. This is a Warhammer. Now, I actually picked this up from the Tractor Supply store. Uh, that's a true story. Tractor Supply, for those who don't know, is a... Is a a farming supply store here in the U.S., but apparently you can buy cold steel war hammers at Tractor Supply. That's a true story. Just in case you want to get up close and personal and bludgeon someone to death, you know? And for our third spot here, we got the Claymore Mine. That's right. Now make sure you read uh, where it says, you know, front towards the enemy. Make sure you're pointing the right way. This is a stationary AOE effect. Uh, it works pretty well. Not going to lie. You do want to be behind some cover, ideally, and make sure you run all that string out before you uh, tell your drill sergeant that you see the light. Or is it Claymore? claim or claim or I, it's been a long time I don't quite remember all right after that uh, we got really a, a core aspect of this build and that's going to be the monster truck and if you're going with a monster truck there's really only one you want for a fighting build like this and that's grave digger that's right now for those of you who might be outside of the U.S. aren't as familiar with America uh, monster track rallies is something we do particularly in the south and I highly recommend it if you ever get a chance to go same with NASCAR it is a cultural event that I recommend everybody go to at least once. See a lot of my people. And then for the last one here, we're going to go with the long range AOE. We got the rocket launcher. That's right. Shoulder fired rocket launcher. You just point and click and uh, everything's taken care of. Oh yeah. And then I forgot, I'm sorry, on our back bar here, uh, we do have one more flex option. I forgot to mention, uh, we have the M1A1 Abrams tank. That's right. You know, mostly useful for invading small countries, but uh, you know, if you need it in a particular build, maybe you're in a trial, things aren't going quite right. Break out the tank. And then as a couple of honorable mentions, here on the side. Uh, I, I've got some more assault rifles because America. And then we also had the breaker incendiary because uh, it's always good to bring freedom and democracy to bugs. Now for our gear, I personally recommend it. I'm actually wearing them right now. I know you can't quite see. I like camouflage cargo shorts. Okay. And the reason for that is because you can fit a couple extra uh, one, 
one and a half liter Mountain Dews in each side. You know, if you get the tall ones, now the tall ones, you really need the deep pockets if they're going to stick in there. But uh, Mountain Dew is going to be our potion of choice here. So the cargo shorts are really going to help us out with that. So that's where we're going with that. Uh, on the top, you want to wear a tactical vest, particularly if you're going out to like Walmart, perhaps going to Starbucks or something like that. Anywhere you're going out, you want people to know that you're a tough guy. And so that's what you want to just, you know, anything that goes along with that is also fine. Obviously, you know, an American flag t-shirt with a eagle and everything else works quite well also. Optional setups here, you can go with American flag shorts, particularly around the holidays, like 4th of July right now. Uh, absolutely, you could go with that. And then the shirt is optional. Now, a lot of places are like, no, shoot, no shoes, no shirt, no service. Uh, but you know what? I, I tell them <laughs> they got to kick me out, you know? And after I'm oiled up with some grease from the barbecue, you know, I don't think they want to do that. I'm going to be honest. They, it's easier to just sell me my Mountain Dew and let me be on my way, if you know what I mean. Now for weapons, uh, yes. We are going to have weapons, all the weapons, yeah. And then for jewelry, uh, I actually like bloodthirsty and weapon damage here. I don't really have anything to change about that. Uh, it seems good to me. Bloodthirsty and weapon damage seem good things. Uh, for for body, uh, we're going to go with Harry. Uh, you know, it helps protect you from the sun, from the elements. Uh, so that's always a good thing. For blue CP, for slottable blue CP, uh, of course, you're going to want corporations because uh, we got to got to make sure we're taking care of our corporate overlords there. Uh, and then as as someone who is from the South, I know that you need Jesus, you know, and so that's why we have Jesus here. Now, we have a few other things here that have been redacted, and that's because this is meant to be humorous and funny, and I don't want to get too political or anything like that. So moving on to slottable red CP, we got American football. Now, I like to just walk around with an American football sometimes, especially if I'm overseas somewhere. I just want people to know that I'm an American. Now, sure, my American flag shorts, and my white tank top might let, let let on to that a little bit, perhaps the cargo shorts and the Mountain Dew as well, but, uh, you know, you can never be too sure, you know, so walking around with American football is always a good idea, in my opinion. Uh, now, beer belly. Now, that this is one of the classic defensive CPs here. Uh, it's just going to give you a little bit extra protection, protect those internal organs and what have you. Uh, and then another thing uh, really for protection, because that's what the red CP is all about, is ignorance. Okay, you know, <laughs> ignorance will protect you from all kinds of bad thoughts and, and feelings that you don't want to deal with. And if you just don't know anything, about anything, then, you know, uh, nothing bothers you. Ignorance is bliss. So that's why we have it here. And then a bit of toxic masculinity. And I say a bit, we'll, we'll probably dump a little bit in there. You know, uh, when I say a bit, I'm talking about like Paula Dean uses butter, you know, just a little bit, you know, throw the whole stick in there. So uh, yeah, a little toxic masculinity goes a long way. A lot of toxic masculinity will probably go further. I don't know. I'm too ignorant to know any better. All right. And then we're going to put 64 points into ammunition because it's any good American knows having all those guns in the world isn't going to help you out if you don't have plenty of ammunition for them. And then we're going to choose the Freedom Mundus. And if I have to explain why you want the Freedom Mundus, well, this probably ain't the right video for you now, is it? All right. And then probably my favorite things here at the bottom here, race, we're going to go with American. Okay. Uh, and then for potions, of course, Mountain Dew, we've kind of already talked about it. And then for food, we're going to go with apple pie. Now for food, you could also do a handful of other things. An American cheeseburger, for example, perhaps a hot dog, something like that, some freedom fries, but uh, I personally like apple pie, so that's what we're going with here. Anyways, that's it for today. I appreciate everybody tuning in. You guys have a good 4th of July, and I hope my Warden of Freedom build works as well for you as it did for me. We'll see you in the next one.